So there you have it in terms of live sound. If you basically know the principles of audio, know how to mix your main mix and monitors and effectively troubleshoot, then, I mean, you're pretty much uh, good to go. But I just wanted to add this section in as many of you will be required to record performances uh, of bands or speeches or sermons, even dupe them out to CD, you know, maybe podcasts or even those little thumb drives. This section will cover this very briefly. First up, when you think about you know, what are you going to record, if you're going to record the master main mix right here, then it's pretty simple just to play some kind of a recorder across the main outs and just record the mix right here, right? In most mixes like this, you'll probably have the main outs left and right here uh, consigned to supplying the amps and the main speakers, so you really can't use these guys here. Quite often you'll have another set of outs that mirror these or they're in parallel to these main outs. In this example, we actually have a couple here. We have a utility, so we have a main out, uh, out here and we also have a utility out left and right here. These are probably balanced in this case, but we also have a pair of unbalanced RCA jacks labeled tape output. Over a short run of cable, the, the tape outs would work fine, but if you need, if there's a longer run out to your recorder, then you might want to use another stereo out that has balanced lines to reduce all that hum and interference. Any way you do it, you'll feed those outs to the input of a stereo recorder. And in the old days, it used to be cassettes, then DATs, then mini discs, then recordable CDs to those, even those little media card recorders nowadays. Now, no matter what you're recording, all you need to do is to set it to record, check your levels, and uh, away you go. But here's actually something that you might want to think about in terms of recording a stereo mix. If you have mic'd everything on stage and really relied on the main speakers to be the only way that your audience hears the whole band, then you'll be fine. But think of it this way. If you are in a small setting where maybe the guitar amp sounds fine from the stage without miking it and the guitar, sorry, the piano is heard you know, halfway from the stage, you know, just half acoustically through the air, your main mix from the left and right will be a little thin. Does that make sense? I mean, take a recording from the console of a U2 concert and you'll hear absolutely everything because everything has to come through the main speakers because back in the 40th row, no one can hear the guitar amp, right? So the main mix is going to sound absolutely fine. It's in really in the smaller venues where the sound that's heard in the audience is half front of house speakers and half just kind of off the stage. That's when your recordings from the main mix here will leave a lot of stuff out. All the stuff that you're hearing without it coming through the main PA uh, system will not get recorded. So the solution is to mic up everything and keep the main stage level down so that the mix coming out of the left and right, these main outs here, is a complete mix. Now, by the way, I saw one more place in this mixer where you, I mean, you could siphon off a main mix. The main inserts here could take a pair of these insert cables. We saw these guys before. And at a pinch, you could use them as one more set of main outs, though be careful. What you do is plug this in about halfway. If you fill one click there, then one of these guys would take an output out of that left one. You do another one over here. And you know, in a pinch, you could use them as another set of main outs.